Hi, I'm Michael A. Levine, and it was my privilege to write and produce the song Go Tell Aunt Rhody slash Everybody's Dead for the game, the new VR game, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Well, I was really excited because this is a game with a lot of history. There are millions of people the world over who know this game well, have played the various versions of it. Characters have evolved and changed, and it, it has a, a, a loyal fan base, but there hasn't been a new version of it since, I think, 2012, something like that. And this version is the first VR version. And you know, if it's Capcom and it's Resident Evil, this VR is going to be scarier and more immersive than anything else out there. Well, I think Capcom was, Capcom was originally interested in me because of uh, a production I had done of the song uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which was originally a cheerful 80s dance song. And I had produced with Lucas Cantor a very dark and scary version that featured uh, the singer from New Zealand, Lord. It was used in Hunger Games Catching Fire and many trailers and so forth. And I think they wanted to have something that had that same kind of you think you know this, but you don't attitude. What's unique about this song is that it started somewhere in Europe, maybe in the 1750s. There's some dispute whether it's a traditional song or whether it was used in an opera, they know that much, in France. But then it went to Germany and it went to uh, England and then to the United States and eventually to Japan, where um, it was became part of the elementary school curriculum because of American teachers who brought it over, who were part of what's called the Meiji Restoration of the 1870s. And they changed the lyrics, and the Japanese version goes, Musunde hirai te te o te musunde, which means uh, closed hands, open hands, clap hands, closed hands, oddly enough. Go tell and roadie. Yes, I, a couple of things that are that I think you might find kind of interesting. Uh, one of them is the use of this instrument. This is called the chiola. And now you have to realize this started out as sort of a straightforward song, if dark and scary, and became more and more abstract and sound design-like. And yet even through all of that electronic manipulation, one of the things that was a constant is this instrument that looks like it's a viola, but it sounds like this. Now, there's no other instrument I know of that goes lower that you can stick under your chin. Another interesting tidbit was that we auditioned singer after singer to sing the lead, and uh, maybe a hundred in total most of whom lived in Los Angeles, but we really liked a singer named Jordan Rain who lived in the UK. But because of the thousands of miles between her and me and the timetable we were working on, we never actually got together in the same room at the same time. We did all the sessions via the internet. This was one of the most fun projects I've ever worked on. I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to abuse this poor little song and add bits to it and weave it into uh, the tradition of Resident Evil. Any rate, I hope you enjoy the game as much as I did working on it. Um, the soundtrack album will be out now and the soundtrack includes music from written for the, the game by others than myself, plus the song. And the game is called Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. <laughs>